And we welcome you to the Cougars Head here in Van Wert. Rainer Roberts with you. Hopefully, we'll be joined by Miles Holiday in just a couple of minutes, working out some technical issues here as we get set for this non league boys basketball matchup tonight as 3 0 Wayne Trace has come to town to take on the 0 3 Cougars. They've gone through all of the. Uh, Announcements for the starting lineups that'll give us a chance to take a look at those starting lineups real quick. Let's start with the starting lineup this evening for the Raiders of Wayne Trace coming in at 3-0 on our head coach Jim Linder. Their starting lineup tonight will be Hudson Myers, a 6-2 senior. Tanner Lockoff, a 5-10 sophomore. We'll see Brooks Lockoff, a 6-4 senior. Carter Clemens, a 6-3 sophomore. And Kyle Stoller, a 6 Three senior. Meanwhile, the starting lineup tonight for Van Wert looks like this. We will see Gage Stemmen, a 6'2 senior. Caden Schaefer in the starting lineup, a 5'9 senior. Ryland Miller, 6'2 senior. Keaton Welsh, your leading scorer, 5'10 freshman at 17 a game. And Colin Haggerty, a 6'1 senior as the opening tip is controlled by Wayne Trace, but they will throw it out of bounds, and Van Wert will take over with the basketball. Van Wert trying to bring this one into the front court as this one is coming over to the wing. Schaefer with it. Top side given to Haggerty. Haggerty with dribble handoff. Stemmen nearly lost the handle. He'll give into the corner. Trying to drive baseline. Now the outlet pass back to Schaefer. Schaefer gives behind him. Well, clutch move. Haggerty trying to get inside. Stemmen with the drive. Can't get it to go. And the rebound is pulled down by the Raiders. They'll now push in transition. Layup is no good as Hudson Myers tried the reverse look. And now it is Van Wert that will come away with the basketball. Cougars setting up in the half court. Wing three is on its way. And it is good, our three-pointers tonight. Brought to you by Lee Kinzel Sales and Service. Visit Lee Kinzel on Irwin Road in Van Wert. Take a look at our pre-owned specials at LeeKinzel.com. And it's an early Lee Kinzel three-pointer for Van Wert. Three-nothing now. Wayne Trace trying to answer with Lee Kinzel three. It's no good. Second effort is going to be blocked away. And it is the Cougars that are going to come away with a basketball. This one brought into the front court, Schaefer. Schaefer, the handoff for Keaton Welsh. Welsh is going to be fouled from behind, and we will get a stoppage of the action here. Lockoff's going to be guilty of the foul. That's Brooks Lockoff. Tried the back tap. Our scoreboard tonight brought to you by Carey Insurance in Grover Hill, proudly investing in our youth programs and our communities. Schaefer off the inbound will bring this one between the circles over to Colin Haggerty. Haggerty thought about the dribble handoff. He'll give it to the second man where the wing three is no good by Welsh. Rebound pulled down by the Raiders, and they'll push this one in transition. Raiders trying to set up Lockoff. Double team will give it out top of the key to his younger brother, Tanner. Tanner picks up his dribble, needs some help, swings it out to the wing. It'll go into the corner. Trying to get inside, tough move, no good. But we're going to get a whistle and a foul. See coming, Hudson Myers able to get into the paint, draws a little bit of contact, and he is going to go to the free throw line. Van Wert foul is going to go on Keaton Welsh. That's going to be his first. Welsh leading score on the early season at 17 a game as the first Lee's famous recipe chicken free throw is going to be good as Hudson Myers will put Wayne Trace on the scoreboard as our free throws tonight brought to you by Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken in Lima, Wapak, Delphus, and St. Mary's. Call Lee's for all of your catering needs. Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken, where home style happens here. As the... Cougars are going to lose the handle of the basketball. Lockoff will get this one off the steal. Brooks Lockoff able to get that one to the basket. And Wayne Trace has taken the lead here 4-3. And now we've got one under the basket. 
Ball is lost out of bounds. It'll be a turnover. And Wayne Trace is going to give their, get the basketball off the Van Wert turnover. Still five and a half minutes and counting left to go here in quarter number one. Trying to get a lob inside. Can't find anything. Raiders get it in the corners. Kick out. Wing three. That one's going to be no good. Offensive rebound pulled down by Kyle Stoller. No one's going to step out and guard Stoller. Stoller thought about taking the three-pointer. Instead, gives it off to Myers. And Hudson Myers will knock down the Lee Kinsel sales and service three. Myers now already with five early on. 7-3. Wayne Trace in front. Cougars trying to find something offensively. Schaefer gets the kick out. He'll send it top of the key. Haggerty, Haggerty, round the screen, able to drive to the basket, or he's able to get the bucket. First two-point basket of the night for Van Wert has this Wayne Trace lead down to two at 7-5. to five. Top of the key, Lockoff will take the three, and it's going to be good. So Brooks Lockoff with Lee Kinsel sales and service three-pointer. Into the corner, Schaefer with it. He'll come to the wing, and now directing traffic will be Colin Haggerty. Haggerty trying to find a way to get the basketball over to the freshman in Welsh. Welsh was 16 last night in a tough three-point loss to Parkway, 43-40. It's outside of the Delphi St. John's game. Van Wert's played a couple of competitive games. Just the wing three. That one's going to be well off the mark. No good. Stoller will get the backside rebound as the Raiders will bring this into the front court. Pull-up jumper along the baseline is going to hit off the backside of the backboard. Offensive rebound is going to be no good. And now off the second miss, here come the Cougars trying to push in transition, trying to thread the needle inside. It's Haggerty, that one's going to go out of bounds. It's another turnover, and now Wayne Trace will get the basketball back. As this one will be walked into the front court now. Wayne Trace has Van Wert doubled up here early on, 10-5. to on our carry insurance scoreboard. Step back three from the wing is going to hit the iron. Nice job fighting through traffic. Connor Campbell to come in to get the rebound. And here come the Cougars. This matchup, by the way, 49th all time in this series. Wayne Trace leads 25 to 23. As Van Wert trying to get set up offensively, Campbell will give off to the wing for Schaefer. Schaefer. Over to Campbell. Campbell's going to double back to the left side. Wants a screen. Now needs some help. Needs someone to come get the basketball. It'll be Schaefer. Schaefer trying to give inside. That one's going to be knocked away. It's another turnover. Wayne Trace with numbers, and they'll end up getting the bucket out of Brooks Lockoff. We'll finish it off. That gives Lockoff seven here in the early part of the contest. Wayne Trace extends their lead now 12-5. There's a loose ball midcourt. Wayne Trace will force another turnover. But they'll end up turning the basketball right back over as Brooks Lockoff will dribble it off his side and out of bounds. And now we'll see a couple of early substitutions here for each team as Brady Miller in for Wayne Trace, while Nate Gerhardt will check in for Van Wert. Cougars trying to bring this one into the front court. They're picked up. At the timeline defensively, and that has caused some trouble here early on for Van Wert. This one knocked away, but right into the hands of Campbell. Campbell able to get to the basket, can't get it to go. And it's a rebound for the Raiders, trying to push in transition again. It's a nice pass along the baseline. That one's going to be finished off, and now Van Wert wants an early timeout. So timeout will take one as well. Wayne Trace with a lead here on WOSN. And our free throws tonight brought to you by Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken in Lima Wapak, Delphi, St. Mary's. Call Lee's for all of your catering needs. Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken, where home style happens here. 14-5, Wayne Trace with the lead over Van Wert here. Minute and change left to go in our opening quarter. 
Connor Campbell, top of the key, is going to give Welsh. Welsh trying to pull up from the elbow. Leaner's going to hit off the heel of the iron. Rebound is then lost out of bounds, and the basketball is going to belong to Van Wert. As it looks like Tyson Gerber checked in, lost the handle for Wayne Trace as that one rolled out of bounds. So Van Wert will keep it here with a minute 14 to go in our opening quarter. Trying to find something to go to the backside. Campbell, Campbell cut off, gets it out to Welsh. Get it out to the wing, Haggerty. Haggerty gives up top of the key. As they'll work it around to the right side, Schaefer will kick out. And the three is up and good as Connor Campbell knocks down the second triple of the night for Van Wert. And again, our three pointers brought to you by Lee Kinsel on Irvin Road in Van Wert. Take a look at our pre owned specials at Lee Kinsel. Dot com. Nice runner in the lane is up and good on the other end as Wayne Trace able to answer with a bucket by a Tanner Lockoff. He scores for the first time tonight. Drive off the wing is up and good there. Connor Campbell answers. Campbell now with five as the Raiders very quickly bring this one into the front court. Looks like for the first time. Wayne Trace taking their time on offense. 10 seconds to go here in quarter number one. Trying to find something. Everyone clearing out. Stoller left open. Good turnaround from the baseline. Doesn't go, but it looks like Kyle Stoller was able to draw the foul, and he will go to Lee's famous recipe chicken free throw line. Van Wert fouls on Rylan Miller. That's going to be his first as the first free throw will hit off the front iron now one more free throw coming here for Stoller and that one will rattle around and drop in Stoller scores he's the fifth different player to score the opening quarters Van Wert will let go from long distance. That'll do it after one. We'll take a timeout here at WOSN. And a quarter sponsor for tonight is Matt's Heating and Cooling. Is your home in the energy efficient zone? Call Matt's Heating and Cooling or go to callmattsheating.com to schedule your free estimate. Randy Roberts joined now by Miles Holiday. Have some technical difficulties to work out. It looks like we are underway. 17-10. Wayne Trace will lead over Van Wert after one quarter of play. Hey, partner, where else would you rather be than right here, right now? And people have texted me that first quarter said, that's the best you and I have ever sounded. So, good job, buddy. Way to lead it. Looks like everything taken care of here. Wayne Trace with the basketball going in there. Quick tempo style. Turnaround from the low block is going to be no good. It's Carter Clemens getting a look. And now it is Van Wert going in a hurry, and we are going to have a whistle and a foul. Yeah, it's important that Clemens becomes a finisher inside. You remember they had the Davis a year ago that was kind of in that role. He'd get about seven points a game, about seven rebounds. Uh, Clemens just being a sophomore, but he's got great size. Got to be able to finish around the bucket for uh, Wayne Trace to go where they want to this year. So here is Caden Schaefer at the free throw line. He will shoot two. As the uh, scores table to make sure they get the right player on the foul. It is going to be Carter Clemens who's going to pick up the foul. I believe that's going to be his first. Miles and I talked about it a little bit in our Friday night game that the uh, one and one is no more. I, I, I'm still starting that petition. Bring it back. Let's get t-shirts. One and one. I miss you. Come back one and one. Schaefer able to knock down the first free throw. Second one will hit off the heel of the iron. And we've got a whistle and a foul on the rebound. And some free I'm going to get a push on that rebound. That's going to be Clemens with the, the call. Going to be a costly foul for Wayne Trace as they're going to have to bring Stoller back in a little bit earlier than they wanted to. Van Wert will get a second opportunity off the inbound. Three hits the heel of the iron. No good out of uh, Schaefer. 
On the other end, Wayne Trace just able to beat everyone down the floor, and Brooks Lockoff will chip in his fourth bucket of the night. Well, that's the problem with the long shots, right? Long rebounds, and all of a sudden, Wayne Trace gets in transition, and they do such a great job. How many baskets in his career Brooks Lockoff have had that variety, right? Now, Lockoff already with nine. It's an eight-point lead for Wayne Trace, as you see on our carry insurance scoreboard. Cougars trying to take a little bit of time offensively to get set. They don't want to be in a hurry. Not a whole lot of teams can match the pace that Wayne Trace likes to play at. Now ben Loddick, though, he is a guy that in his past has liked to use pressure to his advantage. And just when you say that, what a great backdoor cut by Schaefer to get himself free. He's able to get in and score. Cuts that lead to six now. 19-13 here, 6.20 and counting left to go before halftime. Skip pass over the top, good look from behind the arc. Three ball, it's no good. Brady Miller can't get it to go. Rebound is out of bounds, and it looks like it's going to stay with the Raiders. <laughs> Stoller with some serious effort to dive out of bounds and then swing it right into the gut of Schaefer. Kind of caught Schaefer like a cannonball right going right into him. Randy, I love the cheerleaders' outfits. I was just going to mention that. We got a little, little on capes them? going yeah. on tonight. The cape is underrated. Bring it back. Might have to go with those. What do you think, next game? We, we yeah, wear some capes. Get, get you some want capes? To? Yeah. I'm Batman. Wayne Trace trying to find something inside. Brooks Lock, or I'm sorry, Tanner Lockoff told the Twitter world I would not do that tonight, and I was wrong. Uh, had Stoller posted up, it's got to be frustrating for a big guy when he's got the position and they bypass it. Stoller's double team. He's going to find the open man. Now we're going to get a whistle, and we've got ourselves. Three seconds in the key. Three seconds. And, and, and you know what? And if I'm the big guy inside, I'm just like, yeah, we all deserve that because I, I was posted up and you didn't give me the ball. So anytime I'm posted up and you don't give me the ball, beware. I might do the three seconds. Reward me. I'm working hard. Teams are going to trade turnovers here. 5.40 left to go, opening half. 19-13, again, a scoreboard tonight brought to you by Carry Insurance in Grover Hill, proudly investing in our youth programs and our communities. Now, one thing about Wayne Trace when they turn it over, though, they, they're never really too upset because what's it allow them to do? It sets up that pressure. And that has been on full display here early on from the Cougar Den in Van Wert. Good pass over the top. Tough move in traffic. Couldn't go. It's Connor Campbell looking for the basket. It sets up the Raiders to move in transition. Good play defensively. Made there. Colin Haggerty knocked that away. Forces the turnover. He'll get the basketball back as the Cougars bring it into the front court. Haggerty knocks down his defender, and he might have drawn a foul. Yeah, Brady Miller hit the floor. Wasn't set. He's going to get the whistle for a foul. Going to be his first. A team's third, but Haggerty, a second time already in this game, Randy, that he's able to pick a, a steal in the backcourt and turn it over real quick. Puts a pressure on that Wayne Trace defense by moving it quickly up court. Van Ward has to uh, shoot this inbound all the way up top of the key for Haggerty. Haggerty gives to the backdoor cutter, but a nice move. Caden Schaefer able to drive the baseline and score. And there's going to be a timeout because I guarantee Jim Linder, he's going to let him know he doesn't appreciate losing your man on a backdoor cut. Second time, Schaefer has victimized Wayne Trace with that backdoor cut. So with a timeout, we'll step inside as well. You're watching high school basketball in WOSF. And a three-pointers tonight are brought to you by Lee Kinsel Sales and Service located on Irvin Road in Van Wert. Take a look at our pre pre-owned specials at Lee Kinsel. Com. I know Lee Kinsel pretty well. Danny the Dealmaker. Go check almost, him out. Almost gave them the Miles Holiday effort on the read there. <laughs> Words are hard. Stay in school, kids. Especially when they're jumbled together. Uh, Cal Winans in for this uh, Wayne Trace team, number 15. Kind of like a Marcus Smart player, uh, former Celtic, and now Grizzly. Kale Winans of those, is a former Celtic? One of those guys, I bet Cal would like it. Fade away three from the corners, no good. Offensive rebound is going to be no good on the putback, but it looks like Kyle Stoller has worked his way to the free throw line. Yeah, just one of those guys that is a rebound magnet. 
Stoller always finds himself. You watch him, he anticipates so well. You know, he's not huge at 6'3", but he's always the first one off the floor, and when he gets two hands on the basketball, good luck trying to get it free. Keaton Welsh, the guilty party there, picks up his second foul, and again, a free throws tonight. Brought to you by Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken in Lima, Wapak, Delphi, St. Mary's. Call Lee's for all of your catering needs. Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken, where home style happens here. Stoller able to split the pair, makes it 20 to 15, nearing the halfway mark of the second quarter. Going to hand off and work inside. This time it's going to be Connor Campbell who's able to draw the foul. Yeah, Connor Campbell can hang in the air a little bit. Second time we've seen that. Had a missed uh, floater with the, the hook. A little scoop shot, missed it earlier. That time he gets himself uh, to, the, to the lane. And there you say a Campbell scoop. So he will shoot the Lee's famous recipe chicken free throws. First one's going to be up no good. Yeah, just kind of struggling at the free throw line for Wayne Trace. 50% on a year for Campbell. Second one did go in. Well, just when you think Wayne Trace is kind of going to run away to get to an eight-point lead and they're going to assert themselves. Van Wert just does enough. A couple backdoor cuts. They're doing a really good job of taking shots in the paint, being patient on the offensive end. And speaking of being patient, that's exactly what Wayne Trace is doing this trip. So side to side, wing three is no good. Rebound's going to be taken away as Lockhoff will get a second opportunity. That one was no good. Stoller was flying in, was going to slam it home. Third time, not good as well. Another offensive rebound. No good. Stoller with it again. He'll get one more time, and he's going to be tied up on his way to the basket. But before that, the officials are going to say there's a foul. Oh, it's kind of like playing Hungry Hungry Hippos, wasn't it? You're just hitting the, hitting the button, and all those jaws are going after the balls. Wayne Trace just eating up rebound after rebound. So Stoller at the line, who's got a couple of free throws tonight. He'll shoot more Lee's famous recipe chicken free throws. First one's going to rim out and is no good. One more here, 20 to 16. And it'll stay that way. And a big rebound pulled down there. Now it winds up being an empty trip for Wayne Trace. There's a three from the corner. That one's going to be overshot as Schaefer put a little too much mustard on that one. And now a travel as Haggerty gave the little jab step. And when he did, forgot to put the ball down on the deck. Well, I, I guarantee this at halftime, Ben Laudick is going to look at his guys and say, look, just because you have an open three doesn't mean you should shoot the open three, right? Sometimes bypass, especially when it's early in the offense, work to get a better shot. Their offense has worked much better, Randy, when they have dro drove the lane, got themselves inside the key. Yeah, I was always left open from behind the arc. I, I can't understand why. Yeah. That red team, big scoring threat. That was, that was baseball again. Yeah. Brooks Miller carried you guys to a championship. Yeah, two. Now a men's basketball coach at Trine University. One of us made some mistakes along the way somewhere. Wing three, that one is going to be good as Hudson Myers knocks down his second Lee Kinsel three-pointer of the night. Yeah, release rotation and splash for Myers. It's a team that really needs a third score to assert themselves. They got Stoller and Lockoff that they know they're going to get points from every single time. Now they need to get that third guy to give them double digits every night. Maybe it'll be Myers. Campbell with the handoff to Welsh. Welsh leading score coming in at 17 a game. Ball was saved under the basket, but thrown right to a Van Wert player. Campbell's able to finish that with a bucket. Oh, every old basketball coach in America is saying what right now? Never save it underneath your own basket. And Campbell now with eight, and we're going to get a whistle. Jump ball is going to be the call here as Wayne Trace is just absolutely dominated on the offensive glass. They really have. Been fortunate for Van Wert that they haven't been able to capitalize as many times as they've gotten offensive rebounds. Going to have to do a better job of finding the rebounders and getting them out of the key. It's right under the basket, off the inbound. Tough play in traffic, but that's going to be up and good for Wayne Trace. Uh, old school inbound play works again. Anytime you can get an entry pass to the low block, things wind up in a 
a good way for you offensively. So Hudson Myers, the first to double digits. How about the answer on the other end is Colin Haggerty with the Lee Kinsel sales and service three-pointer. Yeah, 25% shooter from behind the arc this year, 100% that time. And now left open under the basket on the other end is Tyson Gerber who's able to get his second bucket of the night. And Tyson Gerber with a little baby kiss off the window. Makes it a six-point game, 27-21. Wayne Trace hasn't pulled away like a lot of pundits thought they would in this one. Coming in at 3-0 against an 0-3 Van Wert squad. Reached the regional tournament a year ago. A smart play by Stoller pulling it out. Didn't have the numbers, didn't want to force the action. Here's a long <laughs> three. That one is good. Another <laughs> Lee Kinsel sales and service three-pointer. I, I don't know if there's a player in Northwest Ohio that does a better job of shooting off the dribble for three than Lockoff. Lockoff now with 12. There's one rolling off the rim on the other end. Haggerty had a good look, couldn't get it to drop. Lockoff, pull up, heat check, three, buries it. Mm. Off the dribble again, our broadcast partner, Danny Holbrook, absolutely loves Lockoff's game, and you can see why. Back-to-back, -back, triples. He has three Lee Kinsel sales and service three-pointers. 15 points on the night. This, all of a sudden, it is a 12-point lead for the Raiders here. Yeah, caution flammable with this Wayne Trace offense, right? Back-to-back -back threes, and it's a six-point game, and you're like, oh, what just happened? This is the second time a cutter's been left open under the basket. This time, a shot rolls off the rims. Campbell can't get it to go. Raiders, another opportunity here. Ten seconds to go in the half. Lockoff, pull up three. That one's going to be left short. Another offensive rebound. Gerber can't get that one to go. Cougars with it. Three-quarter court at the horn is no good. And we have reached the half here in Van Wert. Our Wayne Trace able to pull away late, 33-21 of the break. And we'll have the second half for you after this here on WOSF. Halftime here from Van Wert, 33-21 is Wayne Trace with the lead over Van Wert. We want to tell you that our scoreboard tonight is brought to you by Carry Insurance in Grover Hill, proudly investing in our youth programs and our communities. We also want to tell you that it's just a few more weeks for our annual pledge drive. We are getting very close to our goal of $175,000. Your gift of any size helps us assure ongoing productions of local programs just like the one you're watching right now. Show your support. Pledge online at axeministries.com or call 419-339-4444. Partner? Oh, nice job on that. How about that goal? Let's let's reach deep, deep down and That's get that. Right. It's a giving season. So if you got a couple, what do you get? What you got? You got some loose change on you. I, I got a couple bucks. Yeah, Here I'll do we it. Go. Uh, who you know who else was giving? Uh, that uh, Van Wert offense turning the ball over. They were very giving in that first half, and I'm sure Ben Lodick you know, talked to the guys, said, let's take care of the basketball, right? Mm-hmm. So 33-21 as we are just about ready to go for the second half here. Well, let's not forget, this this was a six-point game until a couple turnovers led to yeah. three-point baskets by that transition offense. Brooks Lockoff from back-to-back threes. To extend this to a 12-point lead, and offensive rebounds have been a big issue uh, for Van Wert as well. Randy, they came in tonight a minus 12 on the rebound margin, and unfortunately for Van Wert, that trend is continuing. So it is a Van Wert ball to begin the second half. So Cougars trying to find something offensively, try to just kind of match. Wayne Trace, that opening half, that wasn't very good. As you talked about the turnovers there, partner, and there's one to begin the second half. Uh, ben Lodick on the sideline just kind of shaking his head. Can't believe the carelessness in which they're treating the basketball so far here tonight. And You know, rough start for them, 0-3. And, and, of course, last year, what a great season they had winning the district. Yeah, but both these teams advanced all the way to a, a regional final for... Wayne Trace, 21-7 and seven before falling in double overtime to Ottawa Glandorf as we're going to have a tie-up and a jump ball on the entry pass down to the low block. 
Uh, this Van Wert team a year ago into postseason was so much fun, though, weren't they? They, they got so hot, and they kind of had that momentum. Aiden Pratt did a great job. Oh, yes, saw, he did. Saw him at halftime. He still still has the championship belt. He says up in his uh, bedroom, doing a great job at Finley. Can't wait to see him on the field. A great deal in the future. Is a turnover as Van Wert is able to get this one. We're going to take a look at the replay here. A really good job by Colin Haggerty closing off the cut of uh, Carter Clemens for Wayne Trace. Kind of put a damper on that offensive set for Wayne Trace. And Connor Campbell able to reach in and eventually knock that one away. Now Van Wert trying to get the inbound in as Wayne Trace is going to ratchet up the intensity. Still in the backcourt here. Yeah, I got to get someone to come in the middle and help right there. Otherwise, it turns into a turnover and Lockoff can convert, can he? That's exactly what happened. He'll score there, and he's going to have a chance to turn this into a three-point play. They take a good shot of him right there. Take a look at, at those arms of his, how long they are. He is uh, so deceptive with his reach. You think you're going to be comfortable with a pass, and the next thing you know, he goes, go, go, gadget arms on you, and gets a steal and converts it. So Lockoff will head to the Lee's famous recipe chicken free throw line where he's able to convert. It's the first made free throw of the young man for the night. Well, snacking on danger, Van Wert right now, down by 15. Could have been got, a lot worse. Yeah, it feels like oh. it get to 20 in a hurry. Might have been, but they're going to get bailed out by a foul call right there. Yeah, Lockoff, second time we've seen him where it looked like he's got a clean steal the basketball and he's going to be whistled for the foul. I think it's a good call, though. You saw the arm get hammered, trying to get that back tap. This time it's Stoller, like the uh, good, good defensive back that he is, is able to take that one away. Now he's going to be rewarded down with the low block. Good turnaround. Doesn't get it to go. Put back, however, is going to be up and good. Now Hudson Myers just anticipated to miss. Fought inside of his man to get to the low block, and we're going to get a timeout. So Van Wert wants to talk things over. That'll give us the opportunity to tell you that our game tonight is brought to you by Matt's Heating and Cooling. Is your home in the energy efficient zone? Call Matt's Heating and Cooling or go to callmattsheating.com to schedule your free estimate. Timeout on the floor, 38-21 rate. Wayne Trace. We'll take a break here in WOSN. And our scoreboard tonight is brought to you by Carey Insurance and Grover Hill, proudly investing in our youth programs and our communities. Speaking of that scoreboard, right now 38-21 is the score on that Carey Insurance scoreboard. Wade Trace in front of Van Wert. Good productive run put on by the Raiders here. Well, Wayne Trace, they can score in bunches, can't they? Sure They can. will wear you down, you turn it over, and the next thing you know, a six-point lead has turned into 17. A couple of the offensive numbers here early on for Wayne Trace, kind of head scratchers. 71 in their opener against Lincoln View, 48 against Parkway, 54 against Bryan so far for their three wins. Well on their way to that total tonight as Lee Kinsel three from the wing is going to be good as Ryland Miller knocks down the first three-pointer of the second half. Well, wound up being a really good timeout, Miller. Says it's time for me to bit of, make a big shot. They needed some points in a big way. Pull up jumper in the other end. The lockoff doesn't go. Rebound is fought for. Finally controlled by the Cougars. As Schaefer able to bring that into the front court. He'll then throw his pass away down to the baseline. Yeah, Connor Campbell had the right idea. Just a little bit too much hot sauce on that pass. Yet another turnover for, for Van Wert. This time it'll be Tanner Lockoff taking over at the point to bring this one into the front court. It's job given to the cutter, and it's Brooks Lockoff who finishes that off with a bucket. Yeah, good dive down, and how about the big fella, Kyle Stoller, able to find him, of course, being a quarterback during the football season, he's able to see wide receivers open. Lockoff now with 20, the second three attempt for Miller is no good. And here come the Raiders. It's a quick one and done. Here's Tanner Lockoff. His runner gets a little kiss off the window and in. Well, how about the little hesitation dribble up top? Saying, hey, big bro, I got some moves as well. It's Tanner Lockoff now with four. Extends that lead, 42-24. This one's gotten away 
from the Cougars in a hurry, but a good play under the basket. Still fighting hard, Ryland Miller's able to draw the basket. He'll have a chance at a three-point play. Boy, this is a real liberal play up top. I thought it might have been a travel for the official to say, hey, go ahead, make that extra pass. Usually when you do a step through, it's a shot, but a kind of a step through and then a pass gets a Van Wert to the free throw line. And Carter Clemens has picked up his fourth foul. As Miller at the Lee's famous recipe chicken free throw line. One is no good, and a rare offensive rebound pulled down. Wing three from the right side is no good out of Nate Gerhardt. Rebound is then lost out of bounds. Last touch by the Raiders. Van Wert will get a third opportunity. Uh, something you don't see very often, Randy, is Kyle Stoller getting out-rebounded on the weak side. Back-to-back -back, uh, offensive rebounds for Van Wert. Inbound comes into the wing to Keaton Welsh, who's been held scoreless, top scorer for this Wayne Trace team early part of the season at 17 a game. Now, uh, you know Lockoff is a young guard, and he's going to have to learn this lesson, right? If you trail through the key, you're either going to give up a shot or you're going to foul someone. It is uh, time-tested and true. Lockoff has to commit the foul because he trailed through the key. It's Keaton Welsh at the line. First free throw is good. And again, our free throws are brought to you by Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken, alive at Wapak Delphi St. Mary's. Call Lee's for all of your catering needs. Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken, where home style happens here. Can't say enough about Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken. The chicken's great, but you know what's even better? Mm. The mashed potatoes and gravy. Give me that all day. Give me a big bucket. I'll be happy all day. About the uh, macaroni and cheese. <laughs> yeah, good stuff. Good stuff with the free throw line there for Welsh to score for the first time tonight. A tough angled shot on the baseline is no good. Lockoff trying to draw the foul, couldn't get it. However, Kyle Stoller right there to clean up and score. Yeah, that's where Stoller has made his living at Wayne Trace. Another turnover here for Van Wert. Loose ball, Stoller looked like he was trying to get his feet set for a rim rocker instead. Settles for not getting the layup. Yeah, he's kind of like Santa Claus. Had that little glimmer in his eye, didn't he? He thought about it. Should I go up and tomahawk this bad boy? Instead, Cougars are going to come away with a basketball. Campbell trying to dribble. Works his way inside with a jump stop. Had a nice move to get in and score. I know the, the faithful Van Wooders that where's the foul on that one, right? Lots of contact inside but the strength of Campbell, Campbell able to finish. Connor Campbell now with 10, make it 44-30 here, three and a half to go third quarter. Three's no good, stole another offensive rebound, can't get it to go. Rebound was knocked out of bounds. Uh, off Stoller, I thought it was knocked out of Stoller's hands, but the officials who have a much better view of the action than we do, disagree. Now, did you see Stoller's reaction? He's like, I can't believe I'm missing these in close shots. He is doing a great job of getting offensive rebounds. Just got to be able to finish, go a little stronger. Cougars get this one in as they've taken all of the five seconds they can to inbound the basketball. That one nearly lost in the paint by Haggerty. Let that dribble get away from him. Yeah, so tough to dribble through that pressure of Wayne Trace. But and once you're able to break it, Keaton Welch, who had 16 or 18 in the first game, he delivers. Yeah, you see him beginning to step up a little bit. You see some of that action there as he knocks down the jumper. One's going to be no good as Wayne Trace trying to answer. Van Wert will take their time as they'll come away with a rebound. Haggerty will bring this into the front court. Yeah, a big moment here for Van Wert. If they can get this back down to 10 and inside of 10 before the fourth quarter. They can start thinking about stealing this one. Welsh with the basketball in his hands right now. Still has his dribble. Pass comes to Haggerty. Haggerty looking for a little bit of movement. Everyone's standing around on that Van Wert offense. Give behind him to Schaefer. Schaefer coming around top of the key. Gives it back to Welsh. Welsh, the entry pass inside. Nice move to get that one by Colin Haggerty. I think they want to start going through Welsh on the offense. Had a basket, the possession before. This time, good find by, to get the ball to Haggerty inside. Start running the, the offense through the talented uh, freshman. 
That lead is now 10 at 44-34. Tanner Lockoff with it. Lockoff comes top of the key. Lockoff leaves it underneath Stoller. That one's knocked out of his hands from behind, but we're going to get a whistle and a foul. It looks like Ryland Miller's going to catch part of the body as well. A great decision by Tanner Lockoff. Gets to the key, breaks the defense down. Defense collapses. They're going to leave the big fella inside. Don't leave number 40. Gets himself to the free throw line yet again. It's Kyle Stoller will be at the Lee's famous recipe chicken free throw line. First one is good. So Stoller with three made free throws tonight. A good shot of Ben Loddick, the head coach here at Van Wert. Partner, I will, I will make this statement right now. Best beard in Northwest Ohio for a basketball coach. It is Sean Connery-like, isn't it? That's a very limited base on who has free throws. So time out on the floor. After the free throws, we'll take a break here in WOSN. And the three-pointers tonight are brought to you by Lee Kinsel Sales and Service, located on Urban Road in Van Wert. Take a look at our pre-owned specials at LeeKinsel.com. And as Miles likes to say, visit Danny, his good friend, Danny the, the Dealmaker. Now, is it one word or two? Because on your radio show, I've heard you go <laughs> with both the one word. It, it depends. So. And if I'm trying to imitate uh, Billy Elvis, because, you okay. know, he, he goes, uh, Danny the Dealmaker, you know, kind of thing. So. Okay. Yeah. But go visit any of those guys. They're going to do a great job for you. I mean, there's other people outside of Danny the Dealmaker? Uh, he'd be a busy guy. And you know what? After you buy your new car, go to Lee's Famous Chicken and enjoy it, right? Lee's Famous Recipe. There you go. There we chicken. go. We're going to get you to do some sponsorings before the end of the year. We'll let you take, we'll let you take one of the papers home and get some practice in. <laughs> I'll read to the dogs. Ball's lost out of bounds, so Van Wert's going to turn this over. Cougars have done a better job here, partner, in the third quarter holding on to the basketball. Yeah, still kind of hanging around. I know it's a 12 punt margin, but it doesn't feel like a, a runaway. Still working hard. Get this thing inside of 10, going into the fourth. Get some momentum on your side if you're Van Wert. Back to that zone. Gave a little bit of trouble in the first half to Wayne Trace. It was really kind of a, a couple back-to-back -back three pointers by Brooks Lockoff really opened up this difference. This was played at about a six-point differential through most of that half. How about that bullet pass? Oh, what a well- Speaking of Brooks Lockoff, he's at the right place at the right time to finish that off. Yeah, what a well-schooled team, right? Recognize that zone, so what do you do? Bring the ball out, force them to come out and play man. They kind of scramble to get their assignment. Next thing you know, Lockoff, one of the most dangerous men on the floor, open for a layup. Extends this one now to 48-34, Thunder minute to go in our third quarter. As Welsh with it, trying to get around his defender. Lobs this one back out to the wing where the three's no good. Stoller able to outjump his defender to come away with the basketball. Stoller long lob ahead to Hudson Myers, who is able to finish off the window and in. Now, how about Hudson Myers, the ability to catch through traffic? Fantastic stuff. Quick three in the other end is going to be no good. Don't think that's the shot Van Wert wanted to end the quarter as it's going to give Wayne Trace yet another opportunity. And this time it's Stoller who flashes to the basket and scores. Well, not great situational basketball by Van Wert in the last 30 seconds. And that's really going to open up this lead for Wayne Trace. It was a 12-point margin. Not so much anymore. Yeah, it's grown here after three. Now 52-34, we'll take a break, have the fourth quarter for you after this on WOSN. And a broadcast tonight also brought to you by Matt's Heating and Cooling. Miles is your home in the energy efficient zone. Uh, if it's not, you know who I need to call? Yeah, Matt's Heating and Cooling, or go to Matt's Heating. <laughs> call Matt'sHeating.com to schedule your free estimate. They're good people, Matt's. They'll warm you up. That's right. Or cool you down, depending on what you need. Heating I think right cooling. now, though, you, you, right? Even though it's 60 degrees today, you, know, you still want to be warmed up in December. Forced me to break the shorts out after I thought I was done for the year. Well, when you have legs like yours, Randy, yeah, you, you should always shorts. 
This is a turnover. Long, oh, trying to get the lob. Stoller, Stoller's trying to find a way to dunk one. Oh, we all wanted to see it, right? How about that? Brooksy's like, come on, big fella, go up and get this. Trying for one. We thought we were going to see one off a turnover earlier. Now, Brooks Lockoff trying to help him out. Now, Lockoff found out here recently his uh, basketball career will not be done after he leaves the halls of Wayne Trace High School, which the other seven teams in the GMC will tell you it's not soon enough as he'll get the steal and score there. Now, yeah, what a great steal again by Brooks Lockoff. If you could paint a picture of his career, it'd be that play right there. And there's another back tap by Lockoff. Lockoff with 24 tonight. Stoller will find Tanner Lockoff. Who do you think wins the one-on-one -on -one battles in the driveway at the Lockoff house? Who do you think? It, I think that? it's going to be Brooks. I think he's got a little bit of size on his brother. Yeah, after a while, he just kind of backs his brother down, right? Plays a little bully ball. A little weave action going on. Stoller, about the fancy footwork in the low block, able to work his way to the basket and lay that now, up and in. Must be watching a little Kevin McHale footage from the Celtics. A little baby drop in the right hand off the smooch. The run that uh, Wayne Trace has gone on here to begin this fourth quarter. 56-34 beginning to pull away. Good jumper from the corner is going to be up and good. As Gage Stemman will get the first two-point basket. He's now got five tonight. Yeah, the end of quarter has kind of been a problem for Wayne Trace. You remember at the end of half, uh, Lockoff hit the back-to-back -back threes, right? Right before mm -hmm. half. That was a six-point swing. And then at the end of this third quarter, you know, three steals in a row in transition baskets, another six-point swing. So 12 points in situational basketball coming back to haunt Van Wert. Well, Stoller is going to uh, put down another exhibit. Uh, as he tried under the basket, he's going to have a little show with the fancy footwork. Couldn't get it to go. Van Wert will give to the trailer in Haggerty. Haggerty gives it up for Campbell. Campbell into the lane. His little runner can't go. And the rebound grabbed by the red, white, and blue of Wayne Trace. They'll go in transition, and it's Lockoff who well, finishes it off. Yeah, after a while, they wear you down. It just becomes a layup line. And another transition basket off of a missed shot or turnover, they do it so well. You don't really have to run a base offense when you have so many transition opportunities like Wayne Trace. Brooks Lockoff with 26, he's gonna add to it as he gets to the rim, oh. can't quite throw it down, and we're gonna get a whistle and a timeout. Oh, back-to-back -back nights, right? Fourth quarter, a little bit tired legs, or else uh, Brooksy, he's dancing on the rim. So time out on the floor. We'll take a break as well. You're watching High School Basketball in WOSN. Now, don't know how many more free throws that we will see tonight, but I can tell you that what free throws that we do have are brought to you by our friends at Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken, which Miles mentioned uh, does a little bit more than just chicken. You can visit Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken in Lima, Wapak, Delphus, and St. Mary's. Call Lee's for all of your catering needs. Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken, where home style happens here. And tell Miles and Randy sent you, and you want your bucket of mashed potatoes and gravy. That's some good stuff. Bucket of, you really want, do you want the, can you get the gravy on the side? Because I feel like the gravy is going to seep through the bucket. How about buckets? One bucket of gravy, one bucket of mashed potatoes. What a thermos. Can we get a thermos of gravy? Now you're talking. Keeps it warm. Yeah, and then you can just kind of scoop there you into go. both. I like well, it. Well, can't you just pour it under the potatoes when you get home? Mm, I'm not sure it's getting home. You got to do That's <laughs> one of those things. I, it's eaten in the car. And then the wife's things, like, where, where'd all the, the, the mashed potatoes go? Things I've learned about working with Miles Holiday. I've never in my years working alongside Miles Holiday would I have imagined he is a eat the mashed potatoes in the car guy. <laughs> but the lob there is Brooks Lockoff. Able to finish that off. That is his 10th two-point basket of the night. He's yeah. got 30. Yeah, he's got 30, and he's been a points maven all year long, 22, averaging early in the year. He's going to be a guy that's just scoring at will. Can't wait to, to see later in the year. And you're going to see an opportunity and a, a foul right uh, there 
off the rebound. And that's Keaton Welch who's been working hard in this half, but I can't wait to see Antwerp and Wayne Trace again this year. Brewer, Lockoff, Stoller, oh, Ultimus. That's gonna be a fun GMC battle. Welsh able to uh, knock down the first Lee's famous recipe chicken free throw. That uh, matchup that Miles talks about comes up uh, towards the middle to end of uh, January, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, it was a game we did last year, and that was an absolute war. Three pointer at the end of the game by Kyle Stoller, and Wayne Trace was able to steal it. Just looking forward to uh, that matchup. So, uh, Miles and I. See a lot of weekend action, a lot of Friday, Saturdays for us this year. From the sounds of it, we'll be all over the place. Yeah, great schedule on WOSN and a good situational awareness here by Wayne Trace. He saw Jim Linder do the hand motion. Let's run clock, spread the floor. When the, the score is in your favor, just let that clock just tick down. Just under the halfway mark of this fourth quarter on our carry insurance scoreboard. Three ball is no good. Rebound saved in the corner. Kale Winans. And now we're going to get a whistle as Jim Linder is going to take quick timeout to save a possession. Yeah, just a glimmer of Winans and what a really good athlete he is. He just, uh, he, he just hustles to get that rebound and then has the wherewithal to get it and then try to look for a partner. Three sport. Free sport athlete, a really good linebacker in football, a tremendous shortstop. Remember a district game we had a couple years ago? A sliding, diving catch down the left field line over top to shoulder. Maybe he uses three sports too, like you were going to say. Yeah, three sports star. Yeah, he's fantastic. Three sport? Th three sports. Is that how <laughs> I, many, it's the lead how many chickens, right? <laughs> I'm, I'm thinking about eating mashed potatoes with my spork. <laughs> so in the truck with the bucket, with yeah. the spork. Yeah, so, sometimes, um, you know, you might. Trucking up I-75 <laughs> on your way home. <laughs> you see a guy weaving in and out of lanes on I-75. Like, is it's that Miles, Miles it's with, his, Miles mashed with potatoes? his bucket of mashed potatoes. From Lee's? With his thermos of gravy. <laughs> Luckoff off the wing for three, off the timeout. It's no good. Rebound in traffic. Was by Welsh. She's then knocked down. We're going to get a whistle and a foul. Yeah, this is kind of a tough whistle against Welch. Loses it right there, and he gets shoved to the ground. Oh, they are going to overrule it. Okay, originally they're going to say it was Welch that committed it, but if you get knocked to the ground, usually the foul is committed on you. And uh, The referees got together, did a better job of talking on that one. Changed that to a foul on Tanner Lockoff, who picked up his third. Cougars with it here, 310 and counting left in this one. Nice job getting to the middle of the defense by Campbell, but his pass underneath is knocked away. Yeah, Stoller got the block from behind. Wayne Trace had jumped to a, a version of a 3-2 zone. Well, the paid officials wanted to call theirs. It looked like Tanner Lockoff had jumped for a pass. And the ball was still in his hands. A well, fan's got to remember that when the score's like this and there's only two and a half minutes left, the officials don't want the clock to stop, right? They, they want it to run, so they're going to be rather lenient. It's a runner inside as Kale Winans will score for the first time tonight. And it looks like it is going to be a quick timeout just to empty the benches here. So we'll see how much time is taken as it looks like Wayne Trace is going to get everyone in some uh, playing action. Yeah, classy move by Jim Linder, right? Got a big lead. Don't want to uh, make things worse than they are. Let's get guys some uh, valuable minutes. So I believe we saw Kayla Mosier, 6'5", senior, number 24, one of those guys out there. Let's see if we can get you some other names and faces in our final couple of minutes here. It's Welsh for three off the wing. That one doesn't go. Rebound is knocked around. Finally controlled by the Cougars. As Landon Sudeth able to get that one. And the second effort on the Lee Kinsel three-pointer is up and good. Yeah, Nate Gearhart getting in. You like his aggressive aggressiveness right there. Has an open shot. Don't wait around. Go ahead and take it. 
buries it. Ball's then knocked out of bounds on the opposite end of the floor. It will force Wing Trace to inbound. So Caden Sin, a six foot sophomore, will do the inbounding. Flips this into Brady Miller. Miller's seen a little bit of action tonight. Back over to Sin. Sin comes top of the key. He'll give inside Mosier. That one's left short. Second effort, no good. And now we're going to get a tie up and a held ball under the basket, fighting for the rebound. Well, you, you mentioned Caden Sin. Uh, is it now an official Wayne Trace basketball game because there's a Sin that is played? I guarantee one thing, he's a good shooter. Three from the corner is going to be no good. Another offensive rebound there for the Raiders. Get this in as Mosier had the ball knocked out of his hands. A wing jumper from Miller is going to be no good. And finally, it's Van Wert comes away with it. Oh, that student section for Wayne Trace. They want Mosier to score in the worst way, don't they? And Sutta trying to follow his shot. Can't get that one to go. Now the Raiders will bring this into the front court with Miller. Miller crossed the timeline with a minute 10 to play. Swing it over to the left wing as Lance Maney is inside, and there is the fan favorite with a bucket. Oh, the student section just lost their minds. Caleb Mosier, he's a popular dude. On the other end, tough look it doesn't go for Van Wert. Sin able to bring this one into the front court. This one then knocked out of bounds, so that will force Wayne Trace to inbound it here with 36 and a half seconds to play. Well, if you're Van Wert, you're going to be 0-4 now after this one. And if you're one of the Van Wert fans, don't get disheartened because remember, this was a Van Wert team that exactly didn't set the world on fire early a year ago. How about Mosier using a little lefty right there? Yeah, he's going to get a couple of buckets here. But Ben Laudick does a great job. He'll get things squared away with his Van Wert team. Remember, they graduated a ton of scoring a year ago. He's a fantastic coach. You guys will be okay. And one more try, about one more. Lee Kinsel three-pointer as Nate Gerhardt knocks down his second of the night. Yeah, Gerhardt saying, hey, coach, I need more shots. The Wayne Trace will let the final seconds run off, 68-43. Is our final a partner anything else you want to add on the night? Uh, it's a Wayne Trace team that it, this is like their blueprint, right? They just kind of wear you down defensively, and it turns into a layup line, and eventually Stoller's going to make his imprint, and so is Lockoff. They're going to do this to a lot of teams this year, so Van Wert, uh, just keep working hard. You're going to be okay by the end of the season. Well, we want to thank everyone who made our night possible here in Van Wert. We want to thank, well, we got to thank Jen for all the work she's done. Yeah. Uh, Oh, we're going to take a quick timeout. We'll go take a timeout and put this one to bed right after this. A 68-43, the final. Wayne Trace gets the win over Van Wert here as uh, the Raiders will go to 4-0. Van Wert falls to 0-4. Miles, time now to select our Stolly Insurance Hustle Award winner. Check out highlights of tonight's Stolly Hustle Award winner on the WOSN YouTube page. Partner, I'll let you give out. Well, I, I don't think it's tonight. a surprise, right? Uh, 30 points. I don't, we lost track of how many steals he had. Uh, almost a dunk. Uh, Brooks Lockoff was absolutely fantastic. Like he is seemingly every time you have him on a broadcast, he is a fantastic basketball player. Uh, you better be aware of holding on to the basketball when number 20 is lurking around. Yeah, definitely uh, deserved our Stolly Hustle Award for tonight. He's, uh, he's once again really put on a show, and there's a guy that uh, expect to have a big year out of the Raiders this year. Yeah, him and Stoller, it, it, nice to be Jim Linder when you, you got to make sure that those two are on the bus and you know you're going to be okay when you go play a basketball game. They, those guys are always going to give you some points and rebounds. Uh, third guy, who's that going to be moving forward for them? I think they'll figure it out by midseason. They're going to need another guy to be a double-digit a game score, but I think they're heading in that direction. Once again, you can check out the highlights tonight. Stolly Hustle Award winner on our WOSN YouTube page. Well, now I think I can officially wrap this up, partner. 68-43, again the final. Yeah, and congratulations to JKB, Jennifer Keep Beck, her first time. 
<laughs> that's that's her right yeah, there. Yeah, there she is. Look at her. She's smiling because that's, it's over. There we go. There's, yeah. There we yep. go. Yeah, she says first time producing on her own. I'll, I'll remember the camera goes the opposite way, so when I'm pointing one way, it's the other way. She, she's a big girl now. Been in this business for a while. Yeah, I think you nice figured job, it out, Jen. But. So we want to thank everyone who made our night possible. You mentioned Jenna, but Derek and Kelsey, the work they've done on the cameras tonight. Partner. Yeah, Derek was fantastic. And, and so was Kelsey. Kelsey did a great job as well. So we want to thank Kelly, back at Master Control, and, of course, uh, the wonderful Nick Fraley taking care of everything. Think about the fine folks at Van Wert. No problems there whatsoever, right? Yeah, that's right. They, great job. Always like coming here and uh, can't wait to get back. So, again, 68-43 is our final way Trace gets the win. They stay undefeated on the young season for my partner, Miles Holiday and our entire WOSN crew. I'm Brady Roberts. Thanks for watching, everyone.